Okay, let's see what difference is there in the thermodynamic and the kinetic stability of the metal complexes. For that, just imagine this reaction here at equilibrium in which the copper ions represented by these yellow spheres, they are reacting with these four cyanide negative ions which I am representing them by these blue spheres, right? And even you can see here on this equilibrium arrow that the value of the equilibrium constant is mentioned here and it is 2 into 10 raised to the power 27. It is that much high resulting in the formation of this type of tetracyno copper complex. We can say here that because of this high value of the equilibrium constant, the reaction will be favored in this in this direction. It will be favored in the right direction here, resulting in the formation of a complex which will be square planar in nature and can be represented in this way, right? And now, first of all, we are talking about the thermodynamic stability of a metal complex. And if you remember in the first lecture of this series here, I have told you that the thermodynamic stability is something associated with the measure of the extent of any complex to exist at equilibrium, right? For example, in this equilibrium here, you can see here we have three different kinds of species. The first one is these copper ions, the second one is the cyanide ions and the third species is what it is this complex here, right? And now it will be the extent of this complex species here to exist at equilibrium because we know that the value of the equilibrium constant is very high and the reaction is being favored in the forward direction resulting in the formation of this complex here in very high concentrations, right? So ultimately, in nutshell, we can say that if we are having some beaker here in which this reaction or let us say the equilibrium reaction is going on, the concentration of these copper ions, let me represent the copper ions by the yellow dots and the cyanide ions by the blue dots. So it will be this much of concentration, I mean the low concentration. On the other hand, this complex here will be present in very large concentration. Let me represent them by the large purple dots here, right? So it is just the ability of this complex ion to exist at equilibrium in this high concentration is referred to as the thermodynamic stability of this complex, right? So we will say that the complex here is highly thermodynamic stable because it is present in high concentration although we are having some sort of equilibrium reaction in which both possibilities are there means the reaction can move to this side or even to this side but what is happening is it is moving only and only in this direction here resulting in the formation of some complex that is thermodynamically stable in nature right and after that we know that the metal ion, I mean these copper ions, they are what? They are a type of the Lewis acids. On the other hand, the ligands which can donate electrons, they basically act as the Lewis types of bases, right? And because this complex here is present in high concentration, this means what? That whatever ligands are present here acting as the Lewis bases, they are interacting with these copper ions with a very strong type of interactions because the cyanide ions are what they are actually strong type of ligands okay because only then the formation of such a complex which is high in concentration is possible only if these are strong type of ligands here and the interactions are also strong with the metal ions, right? So we can say here that because of these strong interactions, I mean these strong interactions, what will happen is that it will be resulting in the formation of a strong type of bonds, I mean in between the metal as well as the ligands here, right? So this is thermodynamically more stable, okay, fine, as well as it will be having high values of the stability constants, that is, the first one is the K stability constant, which is also known as the stepwise stability constant, and the second one you can see here is the beta, that is known as the overall or the cumulative type of stability constant, right? So, finally, we can say that the thermodynamic stability is something associated with the equilibrium constants, I mean the Ks, which you can see here is present here. 
the stability constants i mean the overall as well as the step wise which is present here on this side the bond energies means the strength of the bonds obviously because of the strong bonds the bond energies will be very high here in case our complex is thermodynamically more stable right and the last but not the least it is actually the ability to exist at equilibrium right so let me complete this sentence here it is actually the ability to exist at an equilibrium type of stage right so this is all about the term known as the thermodynamic stability and now let us talk about the kinetic stability the second counterpart of stability so basically you can see here that the kinetic stability is something associated with the rates of the reactions right so whether the rate will be a fast rate or a slow rate it will all depend upon the kinetic stability of the product molecule and moreover on the mechanism of the reaction with which it is taking place right now before starting the details of this kinetic stability it is important to talk something about a term known as the liability right so you can read from here that liability is what it is actually an ability of the complex of course to permit the substitution reaction of its ligands right so once again let me repeat for you the liability is what it is the extent or the ability of any complex you can see here this is a metal complex which is our reactant molecule to permit the substitution of its ligands in this complex here what is happening that here is the metal ion and this is the metal ion here actually and these are the ligand the first one second one third and here is the fourth one right and there is also present a new ligand here which i have represented by a red sphere now in substitution which means what that the replacement type of reaction let us say this ligand here has been replaced by this ligand has been replaced by our new ligand which is being represented by a red type of sphere resulting in the formation of a new metal complex as the final product molecule in which you can see here the blue sphere has been replaced by this red one and the blue sphere just goes out of the system in this way right so basically what is happening here a substitution type of reaction is taking place and this new ligand is substituting or replacing this old ligand here right now once again let us go back to this definition of the liability it is the ability or the extent of this complex here to permit the substitution of its ligands right now there are two possibilities here two extreme possibilities the first one is that this substitution reaction it can be a fast reaction right means a new ligand will come here and it will uh, it will take over to this old ligand and it will be replaced by this new ligand in a very fast manner in that case the reactant complex molecule is known as a labile type of complex right so labile simply means that it is more reactive okay and if this substitution reaction the same reaction we are talking about is occurring in a slow fashion this means what that the starting reactant complex molecule is what it is an inert type of complex so inert simply means here non reactive or less reactive right so the kinetic stability actually deals with the inert type of complexes as well as the labile type of complexes the labile complexes will be allowing the substitution reactions in a faster way right in labile complexes the reactions will be quite fast on the other hand in the inner type of complexes which we can refer to as non reactive the reactions will be taking place on a slower pace right so the kinetic stability is something associated with the rates of the reactions and the mechanisms of the reactions on the other hand the thermodynamic stability is something associated with the ability to exist at equilibrium or the bond energies the equilibrium constants and the stability constants right so i think now it is clear that what is the difference between the thermodynamic stability as well as the kinetic stability but i do have one example 
which will be there on the next slide uh, with which the things will be more clear to you people, right? But before that, let me try to explain the kinetic versus the thermodynamic stability in terms of this energy level diagram. Okay, you can see here that here is present our starting material or the reactant molecule which is present at this much amount of energy starting from the ground state, right? So this is the energy of this reactant molecule. And onto this side, onto my left side, some product is present here. Let us say this is the P1 product and this is present or this is having this much amount of energy as compared to that of this energy in case of the reactant molecule. Obviously, we can say here that because the P1 product molecule is having a lower energy as compared to that of the starting material. So this is, this is relatively more stable. This is, let me write here, this is relatively more stable as compared to the reactant molecule. And now let us have a look on the second product molecule, which is this P2 product molecule. And this is having energy of this much magnitude right and now if we compare this energy here let me write here this is the energy 2 here and this is the internal energy of this product i mean p1 and this is represented by e1 here right so now we can see here that because the energy e2 here is less as compared to that of the energy of this reactant let me write here this is the reactant internal energy so the p2 product is we can write here it is more it is more stable as compared to that of the starting reactant molecule i mean this thing here as well as it is also more stable as compared to this p1 product molecule okay and now if we look here on this activation energy magnitude that is delta g here for the formation of this p1 product as well as this delta G here for the formation of this P2 product here, we will see that the this delta G is actually less in energy as compared to that this as compared to that of this activation energy, right? So obviously, because in this case, the activation energy is low here, let me write here the activation E activation energy is low here. And in this case, the activation energy is quite high. So what will happen is, of course, we know being chemistry people, that this reaction here, I mean, from here, and it is going like this, in this way, this will be a fast type of reaction because it will easily, uh, it will easily cover this energy barrier, resulting in the formation of this type of P1 product in a fast way, right? So I can write here because of the smaller activation energy in this case, the P1 product here will be formed faster. It will be formed easily as well as formed faster, right? On the other hand, in this case, because the activation energy is quite high, so the reaction will move in this way slowly and slowly. And once it has crossed this energy barrier, somehow it will result in the formation of some intermediate and then the second transition state. And finally, resulting in the formation of our P2 product molecule, which is actually more stable, or let us say the most stable as compared to that of our P1 product as well as, as that of the reactant molecules, right? So let me write here, although it is more stable, but it is formed, it is, it will be formed slowly here, right? So I can say here that as compared to this starting material, whatever P1 product is formed here and it is formed faster, although it is relatively less stable as compared to P2, that is known as a kinetic type of product molecule. On the other hand, this P2 product here, which is formed slowly, but actually more stable as compared to that of the starting reactant molecule as well as that of the P1 product molecule, right? So this is actually the thermodynamic control of the reaction in this way. On the other hand, this is what, this is the kinetic control of the reaction, right? So it is not like that if some product is thermodynamically more stable, it will always be kinetically more stable, right? So please do not get confused by the thermodynamic stability as well as the kinetic stability with the actual stability of a molecule. These are different things, right? So any product which is formed faster, we can call it as a kinetically 
controlled product molecule on the other hand which is formed slower but is actually more stable that will be known as a thermodynamically stable product okay but lastly the main thing is what that the thermodynamic stability is associated with the stability constants equilibrium constant and the ability of a molecule to exist at equilibrium and moreover with the bond energies right and the kinetic control as we have just discussed is something associated with the rates of the reactions as well as the mechanisms of the reactions right and in last this is a suitable mechanism to have more clarity about the thermodynamic as well as the kinetic stability so you can see here that the nickel ions are reacting with the cyanide ions resulting in the formation of this type of transition metal complex in which the value of beta is given here which is 10 raised to the power 22 and it is a very very high value right so we can say that this overall stability constant i mean the beta here is what it is uh, very high and thus the thermodynamic stability of this product here it will also be very high right and now if i take this product here that is highly thermodynamically stable product in this way and let us say i am adding in this some heavier isotope of the cyanide labeled with c14 carbon atom which you can see here this reaction here i mean the substitution of one cyanide ligand with this heavier isotope resulting in the formation of this type of complex here and one cyanide ion is going out this is very very fast in nature right so although this product here is thermodynamically more stable let me write here it is thermodynamically more stable product because of the high values of the overall stability constant that is beta but because it is also giving a faster reaction with a heavier isotope of cyanide ion this means kinetically talking it is a reactive molecule it is a labile type of molecule okay so we have this complex molecule which is thermodynamically stable but kinetically it is labile or oh, let me write here it is kinetically reactive in nature kinetically reactive or oh, let us say it is kinetically less less stable right so this is what is meant by the kinetic as well as the thermodynamic stability hope you have enjoyed this lecture thank you so much